Hello everybody, the moment has come. We now have the Alaskan Truck Simulator demo here. Uh, not the full game yet, but we are going to play this and see what it's all about in this first look. If you want to know all of my settings and how I got everything to work, we will go over that at the end of the video. Let's go ahead and play the demo. Welcome to Alaskan Truck Simulator. There you go. We have many different trucks to unlock, a huge sandbox map. Uh, full career mode, lots of assignment, several hundred different loads and dozens of trailers, expanding your own base and very extensive system of repairs and truck customizations. Many survival mechanics known from typical survival games, dynamic weather mode with four seasons and 24 hour day and night cycle. Very cool. You'll see that here in a moment once we start this up. Now, I did jump in just to make sure everything worked when I got out to the truck with all of my settings and it is working. So we're going to go through this together. It says take the reindeer meat from the fridge. OK, I'm going to use a controller for right now. So it's nice and smooth for you guys. Uh, and then we'll jump over and we'll use the wheel setup that we have as usual. Um, I was able to get my Patriot XL button box to work as well under the controls. Like I said, we'll go over all that at the end of the video if you want to uh, figure that out. So here's an inventory system. We have an ice scraper, but we need to grab some reindeer meats and uh, throw that in there. And we need to put it into the cooker over here because there is a survival aspect to the game. Really cool, though. I, I got to say, I like this. Um, kind of gives you a reason to, uh, you know, uh, to, to play it over and over again rather than just going from point A to point B. So, you know, there should be no comparisons to this in American Truck Simulator. They're not even remotely close to the same kind of game. Uh, that's ready. Okay, sweet. Let's take it. You received three times reindeer with Parmesan. All right, cool. Parmesan, as uh, Gordon Ramsay would call it, Parmesan. All right, open your inventory with a uh, D-pad up. Okay, yep. And uh, we can eat that reindeer with Parmesan. Okay, cool. Let's do it. One. And we'll eat two. Perfect. Uh, might as well eat three. There we go. And now our little apple at the top there is 100%. Go to the table, and we'll need four items. Chains, yes. Uh, car tools, yes. Nails and a hammer. All right. Now exit your base and go to your truck. Everything we ever wanted to see. Now, I haven't explored any of this base yet. I don't know what you can do eventually down the road with the cut, you know, the customization. Um, we have a little, little desk in here and our oh, little place we can sleep. It looks. Can we actually sleep in here? You can. Okay, so you can sleep in the bed here. And we can use these things. Nope, nothing in there. All right, cool. Just uh, just checking. Just checking. All right, so we can use that bed. But you can sleep in the back of the truck, which is really cool. So let's open this up and take us out to the truck. There it is. And you're going to notice right out of the gate, uh, the front tires are very wide. That's pretty common up here in Alaska for this style of truck uh, to have. You know, It's like a Peterbilt 389 old school outlaw headlights on it. Um, it could be even a 379. Who knows which one it actually is. Uh, but you can see those those are really ultra wide tires, and that's pretty common uh, for off road use in Alaska, as you see here with the truck itself. So that's pretty cool. You get this first paint scheme here, and uh, we'll go to the truck door and we will enter it. So you can get in and out of the truck. Something really cool that I absolutely love about that. So let's hop over to here. A big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring the hand cam as always. Here with my TSPC racer today and my whole setup I've got going on here. Uh, starting the engine, I already have that set down to here, so and start it up, and then we give it some gas to fire it up. There we go. Otherwise, it will make a sound and then it goes away. So uh, you gotta be ready for that. We have no working track IR in this demo, so keep that in mind. I'll keep the HUD on here for now. Uh, we can always turn that off in the options if you don't want it. Release the handbrake. You got. I have it down here. If I can get it, or maybe it don't, wants to be stupid. No, we're good now. All right, cool. Uh, always highlight the interactive elements with tab. Okay, you got it. Uh, navigation. Now open the map with the menu and set a route to the Cantwell gas station. And here is the map. As you can see right here, this is what we have to uh, okay, right click and uh, left click little spots here. Uh, we need to go to this thing. It's flashing at us. So we need to go to the Cantwell gas station. That is selected. We're good to go here. Now hit the road. If you ever get lost in a tutorial, press the F1 menu. You got it. All right. I know we can turn our dash lights on here so we have to click a on the controller there uh and then we have the heater uh they haven't given to us yet so you'll lose hp and low temperatures there it is they're like hey turn that heater on there we go so we don't die out here and we should be good i did turn all the audio off so it shouldn't play any music or anything like that uh we put this thing into gear and you can see i have it in manual transmission mode and we're gonna start rolling on out of here 
This thing's got like a classic 18-speed uh, in it. Let's take it easy coming out of the, uh, the yard here. Let's hope it didn't reset my settings back to automatic transmission. It doesn't look like it did. Okay, cool. And you have to clutch your double. I'm going to be double clutching. You can't float gears in the game, I've found so far. Man, that heater is loud, isn't it? I know, man. It's cold. Don't worry. We got that heater going, so we're going to warm you up. There we go. Uh, no working Jake brake that I have found so far. Maybe they'll show it to us later on down the road. I don't know. Key bindings were interesting to set up for sure. But a lot of the complaints I saw on the Steam discussions forum, I was kind of worried about it. And then I got in the game. I was like, well, I don't have those problems, so I don't know what they're talking about. A lot of people said that the game looked like it was 480p, etc., etc. Well, I mean, you know. Most people want to exaggerate anyway. We're making a right turn out of here. We're good. Really wish I had track IR. I do miss it greatly. <laughs> I do. And you have to manually shut those blinkers off too. Otherwise, they'll, they'll try to drive you crazy a little bit here. All right. We're good now. Getting up through fourth gear. And then I have a splitter. Working splitter. Sorry, range uh, and then splitter. We do have a working range and splitter. I'm keeping that uh, HUD on there today so you can see what gears I'm using and all that and how it all works. It's pretty neat. It's more than I expected, honestly. I think that's the difference. As far as the wheel goes, you do have to select. Uh, it's weird. You have to select the force feedback, like where you, you're getting it from. And I think a lot of people are not doing that. Uh, and you have to choose your wheelbase for that. So I have force feedback. Um, it feels nice and tight on the wheel. It feels heavy in the steering, which I like. So I have no complaints in that department at all. I have no complaints at all so far. I've, from what I've seen, which is getting to the gas station, uh, is pretty impressive. You know, it's a demo. So keep in mind that it is indeed a demo. This is not the final version of the game. That guy's pulling out here. No problem. We're not making any turns. We're just going to follow him down the road. We turn our lights on here uh, by that. Let's keep our lights on. I have low beams, high beams, off. So we'll just keep them on for now. So yeah, I should be able to jump up into the next gear like that. It's kind of interesting how they have that set up. Here's seventh gear. Sounds are meh. But I wasn't expecting a whole lot. That's the thing. I, I wasn't going into this game or this demo with the idea that this was going to be an American Truck Sim experience. But I've been pleasantly surprised. I will say that. All right, making a right turn up here. Get our blinker on because I can't get my blinker set to anything on the actual wheel or a button box or anything like that. You have to go with the default stuff that they have in here. And uh, nope, wrong one. I've noticed the, uh, the actual range selector doesn't work how you would expect it to. It doesn't like, care where you had it like last, you know? Okay, we're in low three. We're going to go ahead and get out here on the road. See me, right? Nobody coming. We're good. Should be. Most part. Oh, man. I'm over rev that thing. Easy to do whenever you're having to deal with the the nuisance of the mouse for your, your views and using the keyboard for your blinkers, I must say. So like I am up, it doesn't remember where you had the range selector. So now I can go down into, you know, I have to click it again and I can go to fifth. It's weird. You have to like flip it up and flip it back down again. So it's not remembering the last position of it. All things that can be worked out. I, I The thing about controls is with this demo, I wasn't even expecting to have wheel support. So I'm not going to complain about that. Not at all. Okay, left turn, right, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's got a good feel to the truck. It's not bad. This is the gas station up here. Turn that guy off. And we have different camera views, so I can change my camera views here as the outside view. And one thing you'll see is we have working smokestacks. We don't have that in American Truck Sim, you know? All right, let's pull in here to the gas station. 
The reason why we're going to go to the outside view is because you have to get in these lines and they have to turn green. Truck looks like a beast, doesn't it? It really does. All right. Taking the fifth gear. Let's go into click it again. Then you have to go down to fourth and then to third. It's kind of strange. I'm starting to get used to it, though. Boy, I know that's annoying. Turn that guy off. You'll see these lines and you want them to turn green. There you go. That's actually not bad right there. You can use that one right there. Perfect. Pull that parking brake. And uh, we'll get out. All right, so getting out, you want to turn your heater off, obviously. And then we want to turn off our dash lights because we don't want to drain the battery on this thing. So let's go ahead and turn the dash lights off as well. And then we'll just kill the engine here. Not bad sounds for uh, shutting down, honestly. Okay, cool. So let's get out. We'll come down over here and exit out of the truck. And there we go. Fueling. Use the buttons on the pump to set the fuel amount. All right. So right here, you can increase the amount of gallons you want. Uh, they want 30 gallons, so we'll pop it up to 30. There we go. That's going to be $101.09. Then you just hit A to refuel. Well, pretty cool how we can do that and walk around the truck and kind of enjoy everything. Now go to the Cantwell store. The route is already set on the GPS. You got it. Let's do it. We're going to hop up in here and we'll fire everything up. Ignition over to on. Got to give it a little bit of gas there to fire it up. Otherwise, it kills the engine sound. I don't know why it does that, but uh, it's very strange. All right, dash light, heater on. We're in business. Let's go to the store, shall we? Put it into gear here if we can. Put it into gear. And we are out of here. Just like that. Second gear. Yeah, that, those little uh, hint things that pop up are quite annoying, but not really a lot we can do about it, to be honest with you. All right, I can use this guy. Yeah, I can use my stick on my right, the right stick on the controller to move around this. That's kind of better than what I was using before, which was the mouse. There's a car there. All right, cool. Hard to see around these corners, man. I tell you what. Oh, it didn't like me messing with the controller while doing that. The mouse, it's okay. It doesn't care. But when I use the controller, it screwed it all up. All right. No biggie. Making a right turn up here anyway. It's fifth gear. Yeah, that navigation thing, it pops up. Now go to the Cantwell store. Like, they, they could fade out, you know? I would be okay with it fading out. I have right away, you dumb dumb. Now, I don't know how y'all do it in Alaska, but pretty sure I had right away there and he just took it away from me. So the AI, there was some questionable maneuvers there. Yep, double clutching. Let's get up into fifth gear. Getting better with it. If you're not used to what double clutching is, we clutch to neutral, clutch into the next gear. Normally, I would float the gears, but like I said, you can't do it in this game. All right. This road is hard to see. Where's it at? Right there? Okay. Drop it into sixth gear here, and then into fifth. Rev matching seems to be very difficult to do as well because of the amount of uh, how much you have to give gas to get those RPMs to jump up. So maybe I'll get that down eventually. In the meantime, we're just kind of rolling with what we got here. Why is the GPS... Look on the map. We could have gone straight and just made the left. Nope. They wanted to Apple map up. <laughs> Apple maps us. Say that fast. All right. Make sure that guy goes into L3. Clear. Clear. Going this way. Doesn't like to go very quick there, does it? that first gear first set of gears okay around the corner well happy tuesday to all you guys i hope you had a great start to the week and you're ready for the week ahead man cool stuff we got a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipeline 
games like this and some other ones. I'm going to go over here. They say to park the truck anywhere you want. Okay. And then go to the shop. We'll just pull her up over here. Because we need to go to the shop here. I saw some lines over here. We can park over here, right? Ooh, I think I might have nailed that parking. Maybe not. Ooh, maybe. We'll see, won't we? There we go. I'm happy with it. Parking brake's in there. Sweet. Let's go ahead and shut the engine off. That's an old school blower on this uh, this heater unit down here. So, Oop, not wipers, but heater. You have to shut it off manually. Everything has to be shut off separate from the actual ignition, which is kind of interesting to get used to. All right, cool. Park the truck anywhere and go to the shop. You got it. We're going to the shop. Let's do it. Let's see what we got over here. What do we got? Buy three cans of food and two bottles of motor oil. Okay. Uh, canned food right here. Hold to buy. Need three cans of that. There we go. And they said two? Two bottles of motor oil. We're not rich. We got $7,738 to our name. Done. You are well prepared for the long travel. Having food and proper tools are crucial in Alaska. Okay, now what? What do you want us to do next? Oh, we left our lights on. Now follow GPS to quarry pickups for your first assignment. Okay, cool. You got it. Hop up in here. And we'll fire her up here in a second. All right, dash lights on. Get that heater on. Oh, sounds like my guy's hungry. 37% on that. Uh, heater comes on. Start this bad boy up. She good. All right, we'll follow the GPS to the quarry pickups. Parking brakes out. Throw it in reverse here. And I'll watch our mirrors a little bit here. Like I said, wish we had GPS. Or not GPS, track IR. We have GPS. We have plenty of GPS. But I wish we had track IR so I could look out the windows a lot easier. And a ability to adjust our seat would be nice too because this seems a little far back for me. So then we could actually look around, you know, at oncoming traffic. That would be the idea. We got the heater on. We're good. We're rolling. My guy's hungry, but that's okay. No big deal. Looks like the oil level is low. What? Stop the truck and open the hood. Are you kidding me? Oh, so we need motor oil. Oh, they want me to do it now, don't they? Okay. Dang, man. Well, we're going to pull over and we're going to... Do that. We could have done that when we were at the at the shop, right? You would think. Let's pull over here. All right. Yep. They're not happy with that. And uh, I think we can do it while the engine's running. So let's see if they'll let us do that. Exit out of the truck. Come up over to here to repair. Check this out. Refill the oil to the designated level. You got it. Get that. Oh, check it out. Click pour button to add oil. Okay, that's pretty cool. Maintenance to your truck. Good now. Continue to the quarry pickups. You got it. I'm going to fill it all the way up. There we go. Sweet. Oh, that was neat. And in we go. So you have truck maintenance to worry about. That's that's something new. That is definitely something new. All right, let's get our camera view back where we want it. Turn those guys off. Parking brake away. Make sure this thing's in the other... Low three and check for traffic here. We're good. There we go. Now we're actually going to be finally going somewhere. It looks like, man, I'm having to do all this at once here. That are, it feels like we have wheel slip happening based on the RPM gauge in our speed. Yeah, I think we have some wheel slipping happening there on that. Could be ice or something. So that's the low. And then that would be your high eighth gear. Okay. Seeing how that works. I'm making a left turn up here. My guy's hungry again. Dang, dude. Well, just hold on a second. You're not going to die of starvation. You just ate some reindeer meat earlier, you know? All right. 
Yeah, it feels like we have some wheel slip happening here, but it's hard to say. Because I'm in eighth gear at 20 miles an hour there. That's interesting. Got our blinker on. Make the left turn up here. There's another truck there. Now, that's going to be cool to have multiple, you know, different trucks and all sorts. Okay, so that was weird how that's doing that. That went to third gear instead of seventh. Your hunger lever is very... Yeah, we know. Okay. Not lever. We're not going to starve to death. Oh, my lord, people. All right, fine. We'll pull over. Because I know there is a refrigerator in the back of our truck. We're at 20%, though. We're, we're fine. For now. But I think they're trying to force us into this stuff before we get to the quarry here. Where we're going. Yeah, that was weird how that put us in third gear there. I shouldn't have done that. I need some speed up. Actually, you know what? Let's make sure we don't die of starvation in this game. That would be dumb, right? So let's do this. Yeah, we know. You're hungry, dude. Dang, dude. Hungry hippo here. All right. So what we can do is we can look behind us and we can go in the back of the truck. I did explore this. And I haven't shown this to you yet. So we have a bed here to sleep. And then we have our refrigerator. And we have a microwave. So we go to fridge. And then we have our canned food here. It's what we have in our inventory. So we can eat that right there. Uh, yep, that's 38. That's 59. And boom. There you go. So not sure what, we're the, what we would use the microwave for, but it is available to us. I can go back to the truck. Having to do all this with all these different controls is interesting, let me say. Yeah, there's a car coming there, so we're fine. Put you into gear here. Come on. There you go. He's going to let me go. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. All right. Now we can finally get down and maybe pick up a, a run here. That'd be nice. See it try to put back in L3 again there. Yeah, I think these tires are spinning. That's what I think is happening here. Because we're bobtailing, you know. That odometer seems to work, though. 6.1 miles we've driven, or 62 miles. Okay, so it's more of a... Okay. Seeing how compressed the map is. You can see how fast we're going through miles. I don't think those are points. And so that's eighth gear there, but you can just see how much wheel slip we have. She doesn't want to get up to speed very easily. I like how the cab, you know, the cab itself is dynamic and moves around. That's pretty neat. Let's make a right turn here. Ooh, man, brakes are like non-existent when you're at speed on this ice and snow. Being, being careful of it. Yeah, I wish that blinker would auto shut off. That'd be nice, right? All right, fifth gear maybe up this hill. Just having some problems getting up this hill. You got it, old girl. There we go. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. We haven't uh, picked up a trailer yet, but we're on our way to do it. I am enjoying it so far. And you can't save the progress in uh, the demo. So we're just going to play this all the way through as far as we can. So it might be a longer video than usual, but that's all right. Okay. There it is. Just like good old America Truck Sim. <sighs> Guy's getting tired. Gonna have to sleep. Let's get our high beams on. There we go. We can see a little bit more now. Now, they, they have a dynamic weather system in here, it's said in the very beginning. So, maybe they'll showcase that a little bit later on. But I haven't seen anything like that yet. Deer crossing. Oh, is there actual deer? That would be neat. That would be really cool. 
right, so now we're more off-road here. Wish I had a motion rig platform so I could feel it. Maybe that'll come down the road. What do y'all think of it so far? You liking it? Post a comment below on what you think. We haven't picked up a trailer yet, but still. I'm going to go into sixth gear here, keeping decent speed. 18 miles an hour. Another tight turn coming up here. How about this lake? This is neat though. It's a unique deal. And you might be wondering why does it look so dark? We're in Alaska, man. And especially during the winter time like this, I mean, it, it, that sun comes up the, on the horizon. It just stays really low on that horizon the whole time. Because you're so far north on the planet. And that's something that uh, is hard to get used to for people that go up to Alaska and, and visit up there during those winter months and the winter solstice. Or it's the summer. It's, it's opposite for up north. I forget. <laughs> it's because of that reason, but I think that's what they're going for here. I don't know if this is... This, Appears to be wintertime. I don't know where we're at in Alaska, and that really matters too. The farther north, obviously, it'll be different. I wonder if we'll see some northern lights. That'd be pretty neat. Okay, so this map's a lot bigger than you think it is, especially if you're doing 18 miles an hour, obviously. But okay, dude. Ooh, getting tired, just working the, uh, working the whole day through. I'm sure they're gonna tell me to go to sleep. I'll wait for them to tell me. Like, you're getting tired. You need to sleep. Get up in the seventh gear now and go up this hill. Now we go get to go down it. So yeah, I like that, uh, you know, we are out in the middle of nowhere. It has that feel of being out in the middle of nowhere. I, but I guess nighttime is coming. That's an interesting looking tree there. A dead one on the right side there. Looked like uh, Snuffy's snout. Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street. Okay. Don't let this truck get away from us here. Still doing some, some decent driving here. Yeah, we know, dude. We know. We know, we know. We're 22 miles out. You can hang in there. We'll sleep when we get to the quarry. Although they're probably going to be like, you have to sleep. No matter what you try. They don't seem to care. I don't think I'm noticing. I don't see any other cars out on this road. Oh, man. We have to go down into the quarry like that. That's cool. We're getting close now. So yeah, this the map is pretty big from what I've seen so far. Very, very scaled down though. You can see how quick we're knocking those miles off. It's pretty interesting. All right, we have made it to the quarry, I think. That's what it says right there. Yep, something quarry. The limestone quarry? There's nobody around here. We don't need to use our blinker. Screw it, right? All right, on up the hill we go. Now we're using that horsepower. He's at 19%. They still haven't told me to go to sleep yet. Well, maybe we need to sleep here before too long. I don't know if you can die of sleep or if you go, maybe you go to sleep at the wheel and crash. Oh, those get longer each time. That's all right, buddy. Hang in there. We'll, we're almost there. We'll, we'll sleep when we get to the top of this mountain. Drive to the logistic location door. You got it. We're going to sleep before we do that, though. We're going to try to. There's the door. But I love that you have to get out of the truck and walk around and do stuff. That's pretty neat. Very impressive. I must say. All right, we made it here. 
I think we need to go to sleep. Let's check how this works. Because I haven't slept in this game yet. I'm wondering... Because, you know, usually you just let the truck sit here. Secondary lights on. Heater on. And you just go into the back and... You, you, you'd sleep, you know, with the truck running. That's how, that's how you would do it. You wouldn't shut it off and die of, you know, freezing to death. So let's go to bed. All right, go to sleep. Decide on how long you want to sleep. This affects your energy and hunger levels. Okay. So four hours, I think that'll be fine. That'll give us 41 and 37. Let's do it. I just hit X. All right, he's waking up. Okay. And now it's in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. We're going to go to the right. All right, buddy. Are you kidding me? You're still tired? You are ridiculous. I'm getting my gear here? Nope. Don't want to get my gear. There's my gear. All right. We can go to this logistics office here on the right. I'm just going to pull forward a little bit further. I want us to make the right turn into it. And now he's hungry. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's kind of like uh, my summer car survival stuff, you know? When you're trying to get a task done in a game. All right. So we can, need to come down here. That might be our trailer right there on the right. Go to the door and accept the new assignment. All right. Well, we'll do that. We're going to go to sleep. We're going to eat. And then we're going to go to sleep. And we'll go from there. I think that's what we need to do. So we can finish this thing out. Otherwise, it's just going to be ridiculous, you know? They're going to be like, the whole time. So uh, let's go ahead and eat some food that's in the fridge. I have some canned food. We'll do that. Uh, and man, we're going to be out of food before you know it. 74, and then that'll be 95. We'll have to get some more food. Um, but okay. Uh, bad. We need to get our, we need to just get everything we can out of this. So drag that on up. Eight hours of sleep. You got it. Let's do it. Sleeping. All right. We have awoken. So the next day, go back over to here. How did that affect our fuel? That's the question. That oh, wasn't too bad. Wasn't bad at all. All right. Let's go do this thing. Let's get out. Let's go talk to him. There's our truck. This is neat, though, man. I love this. Let's accept the assignment by going into the transport office. There it is right there. Sand to you build. Remaining time to take the task. 35 hours. Trailers. Base trailer. 145 miles. Wow. Uh, 60 hours. Zero minutes. Base payouts. 2,945. A license required. Difficulty one. Uh, parking free back front. Oh, you can change that. Okay, cool. We got a free, free back. Maybe they'll have to give an option later on. I don't know. But uh, we just click it. I go back to the truck and hook up the highlighted trailer. Awesome. Well, let's do it. I'm wondering, with all the other stuff we have to do, if we actually have to hook up the trailer, that'd be pretty neat. Oh, don't you do that. You cl actually accidentally click your little uh, your trigger here on your... Stop it. Stop it. Oh, that's so annoying. They have to deal with the controller binding issues like that. All right, we're good now. Just got to try to move this camera to where we can see what we're doing here when we back into this thing. Okay, those are high beams. Turn those. Let's keep our lights on for now. Let's hook up to this thing. Let's see, we use our left side mirror here up into reverse one and we saw it was back here there it is right there so we'll just go on back to it not sure how we're supposed to actually hit the kingpin and all of this I haven't done this yet at all obviously I haven't done a lot in this game yet I just wanted to make sure my controls were all working We could cheat and use the outside view, but yeah, we're a little bit more advanced than that, right? Ooh, that looks pretty good. Pretty lined up with those tan tandems. Great. Apply the handbrake, turn off the engine, hook up the trailer. Okay. 
Turn off the engine and all that stuff. Okay, so... Well, we don't really have to do that, I guess. Why would they, why would they do that? Nah, I don't think... You, you don't have to shut the engine off. Can't use it while driving. Okay, just kidding. Just kidding, y'all. I didn't know that, but all right. Go ahead and kill the engine here. We'll get out. Can't use it while driving. Well, I know. We've learned that. Okay, so great. Apply the hand. We did all that. Here it is here. Oh, you get to lock it in there? Really? Oh, that's cool. Second, secondly, connect the two cables from the truck to the matching sockets on the trailer. Are you kidding me? This? Man manage cables? <gasps> okay, that's pretty darn cool. Red to red, right? Yep. Oh, that's so neat. Pneumatic, yep, red to red, and then green to green, obviously. Okay, that's pretty slick. All right, and uh, to finish hooking up, lift up the trailer supports. That's pretty neat, just like in real life, and then uh, turn. We gotta hold it down. There we go. We go up. That's pretty slick. After hooking up the trailer, your destination will be set automatically. All right, cool. Oh, I see. There we go. Gotta hit B after that. Okay, cool. You can use your left uh, stick to do that. Oh, it's Euro style trailer. Okay. That's I, I was wondering if that was going to be a thing, and yeah, it is. Now hit the road to you build in Paxson. You got it. Let's do it. Enter in here and do the whole routine. Dash lights, get that heater on so we don't die. Start the engine. All right. And now, kind of do a little bit of a pre-trip inspection. Oh, you can't use it while driving. Oh, never mind. You can't have all that running. So, they don't do no pre-trips. No pre-trips in this game. All right. Let's get out of here, shall we? I think we shall. Get this thing into gear. There we go. With a trailer for the first time. Let's see how this works here. Around the corner. Yep, we got our trailer. We're pulling it. Second gear ought to pull it up this hill, no problem. All right, that looks pretty good. Go to the outside view. Here it is, pulling the trailer up the hill. And the trailer, we have brake lights and all that? Yes, we do. Okay, cool. Keep tugging it up the hill here, buddy. I hope we'll be able to customize our trucks, you know, to the point where we, we can get rid of those big fat tires on the front. That'd be pretty nice. Let's go make our turn here. Why is my stuff freezing up on the outside edge? It's like he's cold, but like, or like the heater's not working. Yeah, I know you're cold, buddy. It's cold out here. Trust me. We know all about that. All right, let's do this. We have these different camera views here. You got that one. You got one to the side, kind of snow runner style. Another one to the left, snow runner style. And then back inside. All right, so I guess our heater's not working here. What's going on? Why are you not working? Huh? It's all the way on heat. There's no options for anything else. I don't know why he's cold. Very strange. But he is cold. Clearly. Maybe, yeah, I mean, it's 4.4 Fahrenheit. Is that like a bug or something happening here? Oh, our health is fine. Oh my heavens, we just hit that. Because I can't see anything. Why is it freezing up? We have the heater on. Is there a defroster or something? Let me try to figure this out. This doesn't make any sense to me. Heater's on. Wiper. Differentials over there. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else here we can use. Lights. I don't know. We're just going to continue on here. I don't know why it's freezing up. That's very strange to me. 
I shouldn't be doing that. I wasn't doing it before. Maybe we gotta get some, I don't know, get moving down the road and it'll, it'll get better. I'm hoping. Because this is obnoxious right now, currently. I don't know why you're freezing, dude. The heater is on. The heat is on. on. That's got to be a bug. Start to lose your health. Stop the HP drop. Start restoring. You need to warm up. Quench your hunger and energy levels. Dude, this is dumb. Y'all are being stupid. Yeah, we know you're cold and eh, so cold. Eater, eater on. Dumb. Energy levels. We don't have any more food. Maybe he needs to sleep for an hour. Maybe he won't die. I don't know, man. Let's try this. Let's see if this fixes the problem. Doesn't look like it did anything at all. So no. Okay. Not sure why that's happening. Maybe we can shut everything off, get out, get back in, and maybe it'll work. Maybe it's something like that. All right, I don't know. We are cold. We are cold. Let's run around. We are cold. We are cold. Let's run around. All right, let's get back in. Do we get this thing to actually work now? Maybe. All right, heaters on. Dashlights are on. I'm hoping this will work. I don't, I don't know. But this has to be a bug. It is a demo, so we, we're going to run into things like that, but... Yeah, that shouldn't have done anything remotely close to that. Although he's not complaining right now, so maybe that worked. Better get out, run around the truck, get back in it. It seems like it bugged out like it was acting like their heater wasn't on, you know what I mean? Like, if heater is on, do this. It wasn't doing that. No, he's going to complain again. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything either because we're just completely frosted out here. That's all right. Might be getting better. We're at 94% now. Yeah, we're just going to keep rolling. Big truck, keep rolling. Get some speed. Up. Oh, it's going away. Maybe it's just uh, you have to keep going down the road. I don't know. I don't know. It felt like it was bugged out. Yeah, the heater wasn't working. All right. Seventh gear, 20 miles an hour. I mean, that's doing it. Getting the job done. 129 miles to go. Which we see how fast miles click off, so it shouldn't be that bad. I wouldn't imagine. Woo. That's fun. Going down that little hill there. All right, we're back to 100%, and it is fading away now. So we fixed that issue. Good to know. The brakes here. Oh, 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 dang. Here we go again. You might be able to fix this bridge. Oh, we have to fix a bridge? What? Okay. Leave the dang truck running, because I don't want to die again with this. Oh, stop with the... I know, it's cold. I think I'm going to shut it off, aren't they? Oh, that's dumb. That's real dumb that they do this. This is how these things happen. This is the reason why we, we've been dying. Because they make you get out of it. Tr In the winter time like this, you would never get out of the truck. You just wouldn't. Grab some wooden planks from the nearby pile. Okay. Now patch all the holes. Okay. Fix hole. Oh, cool. Well, that's kind of neat. Move the barricades to clear the road. All right. Got him. You must also clear the path on the other side. All right. Yeah, I know it's cold, dude. Trust me. I, I totally agree. You have removed the barricades. Now try to pass. Try is the key word here. All right. Back in the truck. Let's get everything working again here. Dash lights on. Kill. Start the engine first. Heater on. We can hear it on. Like it's it's doing what it's supposed to be doing here. Let's try to pass. You shall not pass. 
we were watching uh, over the last couple days. Yeah, I had to click that thing up and down so many times to try to get that into gear. Uh, we've been watching the Harry Potter series from beginning to end. And man, it's such a great series. All right. Hopefully we don't fall in and game over. Seems a little rickety, broken, but that's all right. Oh man, you can feel it. I don't feel that in the wheel. There's no like actual jerking around in the wheel or anything like that. You just see it visually here. And another one. Is that going to be okay or no? I get the thing in the fifth gear. There we go. 11 miles an hour. I don't want to go too fast here and damage anything else. Already hit that stupid thing because it was the same color as the, the ice on the edge. 25. All right. Let's get up this hill, man. Oh, when he's hungry again. This guy sucks. <laughs> you suck, man. Oh, come on. Get into gear so I can keep climbing. Thank you. Your light's on full power here. We need to get into town so we can get some food. We have no food. This guy goes through food like you wouldn't believe. All right. Fifth gear. I'm kind of bummed we haven't seen any wildlife yet. Oh, we're going to see some wildlife, but... Alas, we have not. I'm liking this so far, though. This is pretty darn cool. Something totally different when it comes down to it. Now, I wish some of those aspects, as simple as that, is getting out of the truck uh, and then hooking up trailer cables and even the landing gear like that. That is so neat. I really wish we had that in American Truck Sim. I really do. All right, buddy. We made it back to civilization. Maybe we'll actually be able to get some food. Before we die of starvation. Yeah, this gear's acting strange on us. It's kind of interesting. Good there. Everybody coming. Yep, towards Paxson. That's where we're going. Watching the trailer back there. Oh, we're plenty fine on that. That trailer wasn't that bad at all. It's a lot shorter than you think. Paxton is 100 miles from here. So 29% on the health or on food situation here. And we're 100 out from Paxton, so we cannot mess around. That's the difference between time versus all of that, you know, with speed and how fast you want to drive. Because that hunger is going down no matter what you do. And having the survival aspect to it is a pretty neat addition. I must say, I'm very, very happy with that. And I don't think it's too bad, honestly. I think it's manageable. I mean, the hunger is probably going to get annoying. But the energy seems to be decent, considering we slept again. They were in eighth gear now. Watch out for deer. The non-existent deer. And I know I'm, I'm saying that. I'm trying to jinx myself. I want to see wildlife in this game. I think it would be pretty neat. We're up to speed now. I'm trying to get back into town before we die. That's the idea, at least. Look at this. We're just going to go ahead and apex these corners. Keep our speed up. Try not to tip it over, and there's a car coming. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> I haven't had a crash yet with somebody. Just down here. Good. Nobody coming. All right, so those cars have the same exact sound over and over again. A little loud, too. I don't think you would ever even hear those on, on a road like this. I could be wrong. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. I mean, we're eighth gear here. We're giving her the beans, and we're getting 22 miles an hour out of this thing right now. So it is not the fastest thing in the world. And we're trying to get to where we can get some food and not die. We're trying to do here. 
So I can see how when you when you need to do a long run out in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna have to stock up for that trip. It's kind of like you know the Australian out uh, outback truckers, similar kind of style of trucking. Yeah, I think we might see a little bit of civilization up here, hopefully. Is there a rest area or something up here on the right? I don't know what it is, but I'm giving it everything I can to get where we're going. Is it me or is it getting foggy? Getting a little foggy out here. Getting a little foggy. Feeling 15, pass with care. I'm, dude, I'm trying to get to civilization so I don't die. 15%. Oh, it's snowing. It is indeed snowing. We're gonna turn these wipers on here in a second. Figure out how to do that without dying. And this guy is so hungry, he's gonna die. Oh man, oh, it's getting bad. It is getting bad. Can we get these wipers on? Nope, that's not it. Oh, I can't see cars. Wipers, it ain't. Man, having to do that, you can't left click, which is kind of annoying. Come on, what are you doing? We're losing grip. We are losing grip, it appears. Nope, we're fine. Again. Dude, are we gonna be able to make it back without dying? I don't think so. The weather's getting worse. A blizzard might be dangerous. Yeah, it's just a, oh, a hotel. They have food up here? Something to eat? Gotta pull into this place. There's gotta be something to eat here. There's a building and all sorts of stuff. Dude, I'm gonna make that turn. We're okay though. Going up to this hotel and hoping for the best. They've gotta give us options for food here, man. You gotta give us options for food here. Oh, we're getting stuck on this hill, aren't we? Maybe. Come on, you can do it. Low three. I was climbing. Finding grip. Ever so, not very much of it though. Wow. Dude. To get out and run. Alaskan dragon. I know, man. I know you're hungry. I'm trying to get you where you're going here. Jeez Louise. Starting to get slippery. You should put chains on the wheels. Yeah, probably. Stop the truck and get out and get the. Okay. Oh, you can't see anything. You can't see a thing. I'm just trying to get food so we won't die here. Jeez Louise. Okay, I don't know where we're at or what this thing is or what this place is. I don't know what we're doing here. Just get out. And they're gonna make me shut everything off so I can get out. Peter, whatever. Die. I don't care, dude. Let's go, get out and run. You can't use it while driving. Get the hell out of here. Is there no food here? What is this place? This place sucks. It's a motel. Can we go in it? Oh, not available in the demo. We're going to die. We have nothing on our inventory at all, I don't think. We have no food. No food. We're going to die. Of starvation. We could not do it. Should have bought way more food, dude. They're like, buy three cans of food. Well, I mean, we would have been fine if we would have bought more than that. Didn't know we were going to need it. In the fridge, nothing, man. We got nothing. Nothing in the fridge at all. We're just going to die. And that's just what's going to happen here. Okay. I don't know what we can really do here. Oh, let's just wait for it, us to die. Yeah, we might as well do that. Uh, we might lose all of our progress, too. <sighs> light bulb. Really? You can change out the light bulb? Not available in the demo version. Okay. That's cool. We'll get to do that, though, eventually. Okay, just die already. We're tired of hearing you go groaning about it. Is there an apple or something on the ground over Can we get lucky? We rummage through the trash. Anything over here? <laughs> no, we're going to die. Well, he hasn't died yet, so I guess we're going to just keep on going on the road until he does finally pa pass out. But we need to put chains on. Ooh. So we need to put chains on, they said, remember? So let's go ahead and do it. You must use one of the chains to use this mechanic. Okay. I also have to get the chains. Oh, I think we died finally. Oh, 
Okay, press the button. Oh, we're putting the chains on. Nice. Now you won't be slippery. Okay. I mean, maybe you would just hear the sound the whole time. Maybe it won't kill us. I don't know, man. This is a weird one to me. I just wish we would have known to buy more food than what we have here, because that would have would have been something we could have taken care of earlier. But whatever. We get this in the gear. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this place. If we can. I don't know how easy it's gonna be. Not gonna be the easiest thing in the world, that's for certain. He's gonna hear him complain the whole time. So, I thought we were gonna die immediately. That's the reason why we ended up doing what we did. But apparently that's not the case, so. I, we probably should have just kept on going down the road. We might have been okay. Paint this trailer back to the right so we can get out of this place. Easier said than done. Mm, we might be okay here. We're back in that little slot that was there. there. Should be enough to move forward here. Off into the dirt a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so hunger hits and then it starts to kill you. You see that? So that's how that mechanic works. Okay, good to know. This is craziness though. I hope we don't lose all of our progress because you can't save in this demo. I was talking about, you can't. And now he's tired and there it is. Career over, starvation. You wouldn't ride on an empty tank, so why treat your stomach any different? And then back to the main menu. Yep, that's it. And yep, they start you all the way over from the beginning again. Um, okay, so we learned a lesson there. Uh, buy as much food as you can. They give you $8,000 to start with. Uh, don't listen to the tutorial. Buy as much as you can because you can't finish the job without it. So real quick, this is the settings that I had right here. Full screen, 2560 by 1440. Epic across the board controls. So here's the keyboard and mouse controls right here for everything. Um, and then they didn't give you an option for your blinkers at all. So I set those up. Uh, you can't do that with the other stuff. So the steering wheel, if I click on this, you'll see here, wheel angle is at 900, force feedback device. You have to select that as your actual wheel that you're using. Now down here for uh, steering, throttle and brake and clutch, make sure that you're steering, you do that um, and make sure your values are at zero and then save it, go back out, uh, then come back in again and then you can do your throttle, brake and clutch. I had to go in and out a few times for this. Um, as any value that's on the steering wheel itself, um, as I move it, you'll see the values change. If you don't have it perfectly in zero, not even negative zero, but zero, you can't select these because it will select that thing over and over again for those. Um, there's a splitter range, handbrake, all that stuff. You can see how I have it all set up um, down there. So hopefully that helps you out if you pick this demo up. It is free on Steam. Um, it's cool. I like it. Um, the aspects of, you know, having to deal with the hunger and all that stuff, it's going to be annoying. So, uh, stock up if you're going to jump into it. So maybe we'll revisit this again. Um, I'll pick, I'll, I'll get to the point where we had the pickup and, uh, I'll have a bunch more food so we can finish out the rest of it. But that's going to do it for this video of Alaskan truck simulator. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.